The protocol for the isolation of lipid rafts requires four days. On day one, you will only have to start your bacterial inocula picking single colonies and growing them overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. On day two, you will use these bacterial inocula to grow bigger bacterial cultures. On day three, you will centrifuge your samples to remove the LB and resuspend your cells in clean PBS. After this, you can proceed by breaking the cells, first chemically with a lysozyme treatment, and second, mechanically, using glass beads and three cycles of homogenization. Then, centrifuge the cell lysates to remove cell debris and glass beads, and proceed by separating the different cellular fractions by ultracentrifugation. Save the supernatant that contains the cytosolic fraction, and continue working with the pellet that corresponds to the membrane fraction. To separate the different membrane fractions, transfer the pellet to a new tube using an inoculation loop and adding lysis and isolation buffer. Then, incubate it overnight at 4 degrees Celsius. On day 4, proceed by incubate at 37 degrees Celsius and centrifuge them to separate the two phases. Save the upper hydrophilic phase which will contain the detergent-sensitive membrane fraction and repeat this cycle three times to clean the hydrophobic, detergent-resistant membrane fraction that will contain your lipid rafts. At this point, you will have collected all three different cellular fractions and you can continue by running a western blot to study the cellular localization of your protein of interest.